Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Void Hero Map. If you guys have missed out on any, like always, you can go back, check out the playlist, get yourself caught up on the ones that you have not yet seen. Today, the plan is fight the dragon. But before we get to any of that, we have to add somebody here to the garden. I actually need a new sign. Today, we are adding Dylan Barton. And uh, I am adding them because they left a comment, and it's not related to the Minecraft series. It's related to uh, my first ever episode of Dragon Age Origins, which was two years ago. So it's really cool to see that people are going back that far and uh, checking out some of those videos and stuff. But uh, yeah, they just asked a question about like using the controls on PC when playing Dragon Age. Anyways, yeah, thanks for that comment. So we'll go ahead and add you. So uh, anyways, Dylan, thanks for leaving that comment over there on that video. And welcome to the comment garden. And uh, as for a member, we need to add a member. We always got to add a member to the member zone. And uh, last time we added Raul. So today we will go ahead and add, I'm probably going to butcher how you say this name. It's uh, Mouse. Is that how you say that? Mouse? Ma mouse? Mice? <laughs> Not entirely sure, but anyways, thanks for being a member and welcome to the member zone. So if you would like to become a member, it is only 99 cents to do so, and uh, that helps support the channel as well as get you a bunch of cool perks, like access to a 24-7 cross-platform vanilla Minecraft server that you can join when you want or with me on Fridays when I'm going to be streaming that because Season 3 is going to be starting very soon. Minecraft 1.21 is going to be coming out, I think, next month, hopefully. And uh, we're going to get that server going with all new stuff. TPs, warps, claim zones, all kinds of crazy stuff going on. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So, yeah, definitely check that out if that's something you'd be interested in. And if not, just watching the streams of that will be helpful to me also. But, uh, anyways, let's get going on the plan for today. So, first thing first, I have gathered a bit of, a bit of diamonds and a bit of uh, netherite. Because, actually, I'm not going to be able to do much netherite. We'll see. We'll see what we can do with the netherite. But anyways, I've been gathering diamonds by just throwing the grave fragments. That's actually like the best way to get them. And so you can see I need a helmet. But I also need a chest plate. So we're going to make both of those things. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to have... How many does it... T it takes like a lot to make the uh, template, right? So we might be going at it with just diamond gear. I think it's like... You have to surround it with diamonds. It's this in the middle with netherrack. And then surrounded by diamonds. Yeah, I don't have enough to really, like, netherite the stuff. But what we can do, let's get a little bit more levels real quick. All right. There we go. 33 levels. That should be good. We're just going to do two enchantments here. We're going to... Yeah, we're just going to enchant the chest plate and the hat. So that should be pretty good. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to get... Protection 4. Very nice. But that's all we get. Why is it always that's all we get? Hopefully the uh, chest plate should last me for what we're doing today anyway. So should be all right. And we're going to get them breaking three. Did we get anything else? Fire protection. That's all right. A little bit of different protection. No big deal. And uh, we're fully diamond now, except for I'm wearing gold boots right for the moment. But yeah, we're going to be feeling a lot more protected when we go into this, uh, this dragon fight. But before we do that, we just need a few more blaze rods. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw a bit more of these nether fragments. We're just going to hope to get some of those fortress chunk areas and with that we should fingers crossed be able to get i think we need like two more blaze rods so we're uh we're hoping to get lucky here today i think we will today's today's the day so i'm actually going to go ahead and build like a bit of a platform out this way i'm kind of the area i've i've had has been getting a little bit funky it's getting kind of messed up now so i'm gonna i'm gonna try and extend out a little bit i've got like plenty of wood to to go about this oh here we go Yes, 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 we got a blaze rod. Frig yes. We did not get a, uh, why do I have a sunflower? Ooh, a rib armor trim. Should I trim up my armor before we uh, pop on into the dragon fight? That would be kind of cool. But anyways, we got lucky right off the rip with a one of the uh, blaze rods that we need. So we're going to try for one more. I think that should do it. Fingers crossed. Let's go ahead and throw another one of these. I kind of want to be prepared. If we do get a piglin brute, I, I kind of don't want to die. I want to... I want to survive out here. <laughs> that seems like that should always be the goal, right? Let's go ahead and see what we get. Oh, there we go. That's what I was talking about. I f am forgetting to put my blocks down and get piled up, but I don't think it would help me anyway. But I was able to defeat him. That's kind of crazy, actually. 
And uh, you really don't get much, you don't really get something good from him. But we did get a smithing template. That's actually kind of, kind of bonkers. Golden apple, that should help in the fight. Smite five sword. Not the most useful. But actually, we can netherite a piece of my gear now because I got that smithing template. Actually, I could probably just use both of those. I could just netherite both of these because, you know, if this is the last episode, we're not going to need the uh, smithing template in the long run, you know what I mean? But that was actually a pretty good play. I'm surprised I was able to, to defeat him like that. That was that was bonkers. Usually, I am not the best at uh, combat. I, I must be improving. I guess we'll find out when it comes to the uh, SMP Season 3. Will I be able to battle some folks and, and actually win? That's the real test. Let's throw another. Oh, oh no, no, fudge. Well, that's a, uh, a bummer. But at least we... Oh, fudge, I just did it again. <laughs> just say, at least we didn't spawn in a weird place and then I just walk right off anyway. Now we spawn in a weird place. That's good. Yeah, you love to see it. At least it's not too bad to get back up. Just got to maneuver. All right, we made it. As for these, these can frig off. Actually, I might wanna, I wanna check this out. Get a couple more diamonds, you know, maybe, why not? I could uh, maybe make another sword and try enchanting it before we go into the fight and stuff, you know? Let's see, what kind of zone did we actually get here? Okay, it's not one of the gas spawner ones, so that's, that's pretty good. You hate to see that. Just go ahead and extend out here a little bit and we'll go ahead and throw another fragment. All right, let's see. Hopefully we get the uh, the blaze one. Oh, that kind of went a little far. Not really what I wanted, but oh well. It's because this guy's being a... Can you frig off a little bit? All right, you guys can go over there and see what happens. We got a skeleton waiting around the corner. God dang it, the pig pigmen are going to get in the way. Like, they, they always... They, they'll dive right in front of your swinging pickaxe or your sword. Like, they're kind of dinguses. I always forget. You can't, like... You can't place from a soul sand a block because it's like a block lower. Or not a block lower, but like just a tiny bit lower. Kind of frigs you up. Let's go. Yes, here we go. Get that guy out of here. And then get this guy out of here. Did he drop it? He dropped it. He friggin' dropped it. Yes. That's it. That's all we needed. Oh, and we got a fortress fragment. So actually, dude, that's kind of bonkers. Uh, Why 60? Okay. So I'm going to need a lot of blocks. I'm going to head home get me some blocks and we're gonna come back we're gonna throw a fortress fragment just for the heck of it because what well, you know why not this thing keeps getting butts up and stopping i think i made it too long i mean usually it's fine it seems like it's got enough power to go back and forth but it for some reason it wants to stop i could just throw another power rail in there but anyways uh look at all that bamboo let's uh grab up some of that it's gonna make me some good blocks all right, so I'm going to go ahead and netherite up two bits of my gear here. We're going to do the hat, shabam, and we're going to do the chest plate, shabam. Very nice. So we're doing pretty, we're fully stacked netherite here. Do I need to, do I get an achievement for that? I don't think I do. Uh, but also, we have the, we have these ones and we have this one. So let's make our armor kind of trimmed up. We need to look fancy for this fight, right? Let's mess around with some like gold and some iron and see what that does. I think the chest plate should have that one, the rib armor trim, and I think gold looks good. Let's try it with the iron. Iron looks good too, but I'm thinking gold's better. So we're going to do that and that with gold, and then let's do this with iron and this with iron, and we're going to be looking real fancy. Ooh, heck yeah, look at that. That actually looks sick. That, um... The gold on the rib armor does not look very gold, but it looks sick, man. It looks more copper. Why does it look copper? That's weird, but I like it, honestly. I think my armor's looking sick now. We're ready for a fight. So anyways, let's go throw this uh, fortress fragment. I should probably get a nap real quick because it is dark time, and we have freaking zombies out waiting out my door. I may not rest now because there are monsters. That monster is ruining my life. You monster. I can't believe you've done this. You know what? It's probably going to be daytime by the time I freaking sleep anyway. So let's just run our way back to the nether, throw this fragment, and get us a big old fortress. But before we do that, I'm actually going to stop off here and grab my ender pearls. We're going to go ahead and make the eye of enders, and we're going to be ready to do the fight. We have 14 ender pearls. That's actually pretty sick. Pretty good. So we can go ahead and do... We're going to need... I think we have to fully fill out the portal, don't we? Wait, can you not craft this? Can you not craft this? Why can you not craft this? 
I'm very confused. Why can we not craft uh, Eye of Enders? Well, that's that's going to be a problem if that's the case. I thought we were going to fight the dragon today because I thought we could craft uh, Eye of Enders. That's weird. We'll see. Uh, maybe maybe we'll get some from the fortress. How am I supposed to... How did I actually get this one? Like, how would I be expected to get these if I can't craft them? Is my, uh, is my question. You don't have to surround the end... No, it's just... It's just blaze powder and ender pearl, right? I'm not losing my mind, am I? All right, so I think we're gonna go. Oh, they're gonna shoot at me. Oh, frig. Oh, frig. Look, I'm wearing gold. We're fine. We're chill. We're chill. We're good. I'm gonna go from right here. It's kind of a weird spot to pick, but it is what it is. And we're gonna pile my way up. We need to hit um, Y equals 60. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna need a little decent pile up here. Holy crap, we, we've reached Y60 with zero blocks to spare. That is kind of bonkers. Uh, so I guess we'll just go ahead and try and throw this. Let's try and keep it on the platform, I guess. I don't think that's going to happen. These things kind of go flying off like crazy, uh, but we'll see. Yep, there it goes. Holy friggin' schmoly. There it is. We have achieved the achievement, the sprawl. Great and enormous fortress. We've done it. So let's go like freaking explore this thing. Let's see. Let's see what's in store for me. Hello, is anybody home? It looks a little bit empty right now. <laughs> I think because it just spawned in and it's also daylight. We probably aren't gonna have much uh, going on in here. But there we go. There's our freaking wart farms. I didn't even need to build a wart farm. I did not think I was gonna get this today. There we go. Now we're getting some spawnage, but it's just normal spawnage. That's interesting. I think my gold boots just broke. Oh, there's a lot of normal spawnage. A whole lot of normal spawnage. What the butts? The butts is going on here. You don't want none of this, pal. Ooh, we have a creeper. We don't like that. What the frig? What the frig? This has gone this has gone poorly. Gone wrong. I am putting my booties on. Oh no, you friggin' dingle hopper. Did you just destroy stuff? Where did that explosion just happen? And how did that just happen? There was no... I don't think that creeper was close enough, was he? That was weird. But anyways, I guess the hope here is to find some chests. Because uh, at this point, the blaze rods are useless to me. If I can't actually craft Eye of Enders, we're kind of frigged here. The blaze rods are basically useless to me, so the blaze spawner is also useless to me. Why would it be that way? Why would they make it so you can't craft Eye of Enders? Like, the whole point is usually to get to the end, right? That's my goal, but I don't have any way of getting Eye of Enders to go to the end? That's what's crazy to me. I bet you at night it's gonna get bonkers here because this is like, you know, this isn't normal nether. It's like day, actual regular daylight, normal place, world. What, what am I trying to say? <laughs> there's, there's sunshine, there's light here. So like things aren't spawning up top here like they should be, like they would be if it, this was actually in the nether. So like I bet at night this place is gonna go bonkers. Yes, yeah, so we have our spawners here, but it doesn't look like they're gonna do much. Maybe they will. Maybe they will spawn during the day. I'm not sure. Let's actually check this out. I have a feeling they won't spawn during the day. We did get two spawners though, so that's handy. I don't know what would happen to one that we would need two, but <laughs> I guess maybe you just break it on accident. Like, yeah, I don't need this. Who needs one of these things? Ooh, nighttime is falling, so we might we might be in a little bit of trouble here shortly. All right, I do I do want to kind of dive into here without getting creepered. Nice, that was barely able to avoid that creepering. Okay, yeah, there's nothing this way. We, we're going up this way before we ran into all the baddies. There's a whole lot of bad stuff over this direction. There still is a lot of bad stuff over this way. I don't want it. I don't want it. No thanks, pal. Not on my worst day. Not on my tallest day. Yeah, how do you like fighting upstairs, dingus? Should have thought about that. Yeah, you want to shoot your buddy here? Come on, let's let's go. Let's freaking go. Dang it. How did you shoot it, lob it over his freaking head? There you go. Fight him. Fight, fight, fight. That's what we like to see. Let's get a little light up in here. Another. I don't want to use all my arrows because I'm going to need them if we do actually get to go fight the dragon. Oh, I guess the um, zombie must have won. He ended up with a bone, so that must be a good sign for him. 
Good job, zombie. God dang it, stop spawning. I really need some more torches. Oh, you frig. Oh, one behind me. Oh, one in front of me. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Things have gone poorly. This is uh, more dangerous than a normal fortress, it seems. We do got a chest. Nothing good. Whoop. Whoop, whoop. 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 Nope, nope. God dang it. We're destroying this thing. I guess it's alright. No, no big deal. <laughs> Nobody's gonna miss it. Yeah, there's nothing nothing good in here. Nothing worthwhile. Ooh, we got another one. Yeah, oh, is that the... Did I actually just loop back around to this? I did loop back around to the same one. I'm losing my marbles here. I think I might have already lost them. The balcony, we can see the... Uh, the Bastion. I don't think there's much else to this. Oh, wait, there's another chest. Unless I'm just looping back around. Am I going to loop back around to the same one? Gosh darn it. At least the uh, brick is kind of resistant a little bit to blasts. God dang, so many creepers. Never before have I seen so many creepers. Am I going to get a music disc? Nope. Holy frig, can you frig off, please? This is a bad situation. A bit. A bit of a bad situation here. I'm getting surrounded. I'm getting blown up, and I'm getting surrounded. Can I please just, like, grab some stuff? Whoop! You butthole -ini. At least I got the stuff. More stuff? Okay, so this would have been handy, except for I get netherite from everything. From all the death fragments, you know? It's kind of butts exploring this at night, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go home and sleep. Actually, I've changed my mind. While we're at home, let's go over to. So we got one eye vendor. Let's go over to the portal and let's see what happens when we put one of them in. Maybe it's gonna be a, like a one and done kind of situation. If that's the case, that'd be kind of nice. Cause you know things are changed here. Like you go to light another portal and it gives you another fragment. Maybe we go to put the eye of Ender in and it's gonna be like, uh, here's a fragment. How do I actually get... Okay, I think I know how to get there. Holy crap, there's a lot of mobs here. I don't think I actually made myself a good pathway to get over here. That was kind of a mistake, wasn't it? Now I'm getting bombarded. Oh, frig, I'm gonna get knocked off here. No, please, no. Stop. Stop doing what you're doing. I'm just trying to go to the freaking portal. Take that, you dinguses. What the heck is that? I spawned a cave fragment. I think it might have been a... Uh... I think that's like a, a spawner. Like a, what do you call them? A, a dungeon. Holy crap, did I just get another one? Do you get different stuff depending on what level you're throwing these things? No bonkers. I didn't even realize that until right now at the at the end. Alright, so we did have one in there. I have one. Let's throw it in. So yeah, nothing, nothing fancy, nothing special happens. So we still would need, you know, um, ten more. But it doesn't seem like I can craft them. Which is very odd I'm confused frig it doesn't work what do I do oh so we do have eye of ender recipe but it needs a prismarine shard and echo shard oh okay and that makes eight of them do I have an echo shard I see now I should have done that in the first place searched up the eye of ender recipe so prismarine shards where do I get prismarine shards do I have any I have one I think oh no we're gonna need two because we need 10 of these, and this would make eight fudge. We're gonna need two echo shards too. Where the heck do I even get an echo shard? So I do have to do the ancient city. Okay, so it's like I have to do the ancient city to be able to go to the end. How the frig do I get the ancient city? It seems like that's, I don't know if it's it actually matters, but it seems like that's an offshoot of the nether. So you would think that, um, Maybe in the Bastion or the Fortress is where I would get the uh, Ancient City. I, don't know, I guess I could go check the Bastion out again. And we could check the Fortress a little better. But I suppose this will not be the last episode like I thought. If I do have... I thought I was going to be able to just craft these things. But if I do have to actually do the Ancient City stuff, then uh, that is not the case. I have no gold on me. I'm sorry. I have no gold. I fudged up. I fudged up. Now I really fudged up. 
Let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. We'll have a look through here. We'll see if there's anything we can find. Well, I did find a uh, Fortune 1 pickaxe. So that's pretty good, I guess. <laughs> Silk Touch Axe. I don't know if that's necessary. I don't think I'd use that for anything. This guy's going to be mad at me, so I'm going to try and just avoid that situation there. He seems a little bit stuck, so he can stay stuck. That's fine by me. So I'm thinking this it could be in a chest, right? Oh, here we go. Smithing uh, template for snout armor. We got some pork chops. And the fortress fragment. <laughs> now, now I get the fortress fragment. Okay, so... What just happened? What just happened? Why did I just get frigged up here? So it looks like I am going to have to get it from a chest. I'm getting the fortress fragment now, which I got from a chest. Um, also, just getting those um, small fortress bits. So, I need to... I need to get the ancient city from a chest, I'm, I'm thinking. I think that's the only way you're going to get it. So, we're going to have to, like, look, scour through here like crazy. Hope I was hoping that maybe the, uh... I was kind of hoping that maybe the fortress would have something like that in its chest, but we didn't get so lucky. So, we'll have a good look around here, check all the chests. And if we don't get it here, we'll have to go back to the fortress and scour that. I'm also going to need to get multiple... Hopefully there's multiple um, Echo Shards, and I'm going to need to get another Prismarine Shard, wherever I got that from. I'm thinking maybe the Ocean Fragments, perhaps. I started at the bottom, and I'm kind of working my way up. I do see a Brute over here, though, so that's kind of butts. There we go. But there is a chest. Come on over here, buddy. Okay, we can bow him. We can bow him down. There's one. Poke your head out, you dingus. There's two. Nice. Very nice. What kind of, uh... What do we get over here? Oh, fudge. That was fun. <laughs> Alright, it took me a while, but I finally got back. Oh, frig, 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 frig. Holy crap, I can't believe I was able to actually do that. Finally got back to where I was at. I thought I was just about to die again. Because there is a chest right here. There's also that nether fragment I'd like to get. But this could be the chest. This is going to be the one that gives me the stuff that I need. The fragment that I that I desperately need. Gives me a block of iron. That's pretty good. And pig step. I think I already had pig step, didn't I? Another template. Some gold nuggets. I guess I'll take them. I guess I'll have to get more torches if I'm gonna explore the the fortress a bit more. Oh, frig, they're all mad. He took out his friend. That was that was good. That was good maneuvering there. I didn't really do it on purpose, but it worked out in the in the long run for me. <laughs> yeah, I'll need some more torches if I'm gonna go explore the fortress a bit more. Let me get my health back up. In a bad way. So we're kind of back at the top. I think I've pretty much hit up all there is to hit up here. To be honest. Because I've already been over here. I've already checked out these chests. We got Crying Obsidian. Not the most important. Just kind of double checking, I suppose. Because you never know what this thing could look like, right? Maybe it just looks like a pork chop. You never know. You never freaking know. Let's see. Does this go up any higher? There is, there is a bit more up, up higher. We could kind of pop up to the top there all right I don't think there's anything at the top all right so it looks like we've explored all there is to explore of this I'm gonna do one quick sweep and if I find anything I'll, uh, I'll check back in all right so I just came back here to uh, grab the fortress fragment because it seems like maybe what it is is uh, we will get we will get the next fragment that I need, the Ancient City Fragment, from either a Bastion or a Fortress. I may have to do multiple, is kind of what I'm thinking. So, we have a bunch of, we actually have a bunch of Bastion Fragments, so in the next episode, we can come up here and we can throw more Bastion Fragments, we can throw more Fortress Fragments, and we can kind of hunt through those in the hopes that we're going to get the Ancient City Fragment, because that should be all that we need at this point in the game. I don't think that I checked this chest. We got some golden carrots and some arrows. That's actually pretty good. There may even be more chests in here that I've missed, to be honest with you. Um, like I said, I've been trying to kind of sweep through and see if there's anything laying around. 
but it's it's like kind of a mess so it's hard to see if you've actually hit every single freaking one you know what i mean but uh, anyways let's head home and uh that is the end of today's episode of the minecraft map void hero map so hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did hit that like button down below that helps me out a bunch subscribe to the channel turn on the notifications so you're not going to miss out on any future streams or videos join the discord so you can come by and chat maybe drop me some hints on what i need to do here uh, and also if you want to help support the channel it's only 99 cents to become a member but that gets you a bunch of cool perks you get access to a 24 7 cross-platform vanilla minecraft server that you can join when you want or with me on fridays gonna be starting streaming that again once 1.21 comes out we're starting season three of that smp so there's gonna be a lot of fun going on there you can also just check it out to watch the streams and videos and stuff if you want but anyways guys thanks again for watching and hopefully i will see you in the next one peace